Howdy there, neighbor. It is Happy Latcha, and I am here playing Hydraneer today. A fun little, charming little game uh, about mining gold. And not just mining gold, but mining hearts. It's not about that at all. It's about the mining gold thing. I guess first thing, get started. We're going to do a new little man, a man face. We're looking currently at the one that I had before, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe since we're actually doing a series on this one, I'm gonna make him look a little more presentable, maybe put a shirt over his titties, who knows? Face. You got one face, there's only one face, that's all you need, I guess. Um, I can't do that. Oh, sh all right. Four hairstyles. The uh, the uh, customization in this game actually isn't that great right now because they're still kind of just recently implemented uh, multiplayer. And um, so there was never really a reason to make your dude look super duty um, until now. But hopefully in the, what the? He looks like a Mennonite. Looks like he's gonna knock on your door and then be flabbergasted by your electronics. Look at that. We're, we gotta go with that, I guess. All right, now. Oh, buddy. You look like an old sea captain, but like an old sea captain whose mom cut his hair with a bowl. Um, that's cool. Little Ulysses S. Grant fucked Lemony Snicket attitude right there. I like it. Um, oh God, he's just a simple kind of man. Um, uh, oh God, that looks like, that looks like one of the Three Stooges. We're not doing that. Um, oh, oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. We got a winner. Let's see. Not sure what little hair color we want. I mean, we're going to be out in the sun all day mining gold. I I can't imagine for the life of me that making him ginger will be a good idea. Are we allowed to say that? Is that still okay to say ginger? I'm saying it anyway. I think I've earned that. All right. So he's a ginger. Are we going to put a shirt on him? That is question numero uno. Only four shirts to choose from. That your typical little uh, overalls with a little collared shirt. Then we got some suspenders over a little button up. Look at those gloves. Those gloves bigger than hell. Look like Mickey Mouse. Okay, what's now? He just looks like he's in high school. I don't like that. I don't like that. What is this? Just change the color of both of those. Things? Just the just the undershirt. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, mm. oh, that definitely, definitely looks like what he would wear. And there is a farming update coming up, so he looks like he's damn ready for that. Let's see. Mm. I don't, yeah, we'll put him in that lilac looking some bitch. All right, time for trousers. Mm. God, I wish, right? I wish, but if you're mining for gold, you're going to need to protect that lower half, the knees, the shins, uh, the wiener penis. You're going to need something to cover in that. That looks like he's ready for business. That's just your typical shit. And that is if you're a clown in an emo band. Okay. We're going with the big honking daddies. Let's see, green pants. Who wears green pants? Let's make it lilac like the rest of them. Look like little Willy Wonka looking motherfucker. My dude looks like someone fed bubblegum Mountain Dew after midnight. Like, I don't, I like it. You know what? I think this is it. This is it. Jumping right in. Now I've seen, I've played this enough already. I've, uh, Watched it being played. I know all the moves to make starting out. And if you are also starting this game, uh, just, you know, kind of follow along with me. I am in no way a guru of this or know what I'm doing entirely, but 
Uh, I know enough to get you started. Now I do have my gamma settings knocked up. I figure it's just easier for me because I got dumb brain um, to just jack up the gamma settings so that nighttime is not hardly nighttime. I like it like that. And I don't care if you have an issue with that. I'm playing it how I want. Play your own game the way you want. I don't give a shit. Okay, so first things first. Grab your shovel, throw that bucket all the way the fuck over there. Your blue pointer is, you know, where you're going to dig. The uh, the other circle is where you drop stuff. So first thing, we just dig it up. Oh, I fucked up already. Don't listen to me at all. And then you pick up your bucky, dump in your pan, throw that pan in the fucking ocean. Who gives a shit? Then you grab your toothbrush, scrub that shit, get some gold. All right. Now, when you're on an uneven ground, it does get, did I even, oh yeah, there's a little something in there. A little iron, it looks like. All right, back to the drawing board. Let's do this point. Oh, shit. I swear I've played this before. More stuff, got some gold that time. So yeah, starting out, it's very tedious, but the lower you go, the better um, the resources, bigger the resources you get, and uh, the more money you'll make. So keep that in mind when you're starting out. It may feel like you're not really getting much done early on, but I assure you, everyone who plays this game, has to grind the same way. And then it gets a lot easier, so stick with it. It's a lot of fun. I, get it, you stupid fucking dirt clod. Who you think you are? I s are you there, God? It's me, Happy Latcha. I'm looking fucking stupid online again. Everyone's gonna think I suck at playing video games. Everyone's gonna call me a fucking loser. I hate it here already, and I just started YouTube. And I swear to God, if you don't fix this right now, I'm gonna kill All right, sorry about that. Okay, all right. So pretty much you get the gist of it. I'm going to uh, give this hell right here, and I'll be back when I've got to uh, enough stuff to really make a little money here and I'll uh, show you what that looks like. All right, welcome back to reality and normal speed. Now, it is time to check our spoils. So, shit, not the whole, no. oh no. All right, looks like we got a good deal of everything. I see some cloudium. Cloudium you'll need a lot later. It's gonna be uh, crucial to uh, progressing in the game. But gold is what we're looking for, iron. Everything except these little shards here we can sell. Um, I'm not even going to go through everything in there. I'm just going to go to the local jeweler and sell this shiz so I can start expanding my operations uh, in this fantastical land. Just a 
nice little jaunt up the stone road here. Let's see. Oh, dang. I was not expecting that. 827. Okay. All right, yeah. Give me that money, ho. And now it's time for a shopping montage. Shopping montage, shopping montage. Shopping for my gold mine. Shopping for the gold mine, yeah. Boy, you know I'm shopping. Shopping for the gold mine. Ooh, baby, yeah, get an extra bucket. Yeah, you're shopping, baby. You're shopping real good. Shop, shop, shop to my loo. I see you in your shopping. He's a shopping fool. Everybody shopping, shopping for their gold mine. Everybody shopping now. Ooh, that boy be shopping. At gold. Look at that boy shopping. Shopping sexually, baby. Ooh, he shops so good. Hot damn. I never seen no one shop the way you do, boy. Oh, mama, you shop like you were born to do it. Damn, that boy can shop. Damn right. All right, let's take a look at the haul. All right, so what happens first, getting more pans so that we can scrub more dirt that we get out of filling up more buckets. Fuck it. Fuck that thing. That's later. fishing pole to, to uh, open up another avenue of revenue and to make a little more money while we wait to expand our gold mine. Um, I've got some pipes here and these are very crucial in advancement in this game. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is set up a little system to uh, keep me from having to, to throw the pans into the water all the time. There we go. Also on my shopping trip, I acquired some of these concrete blocks. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me a nice little flat area to uh, work with. Why won't you let me shove this into the ground? I know I can shove this into the ground. Whatever. Those are going to help us create a nice flat little work area. And to make sure that when we drop stuff, it doesn't go rolling and the abyss. I've got a grindstone for when we acquire uncut gems. Great movie. We can now fashion those into sapphires or emeralds or rubies or onyx. And that just makes them worth a little more. Also, got this sweet construction hammer. Now what that does is allow me to lock things into place. Uh, the more you play this, you're going to find out that it's Sometimes stuff messes up and then you got a whole bunch of iron ore just gobbed up in your machines. So you got a fast happy to pick up and drop and you'll accidentally end up picking up your conveyor belts and ruining everything or picking up something else that doesn't need to move like a foundation. And it's just easy to kind of give it the old knock knock, which that's not placed true so you have to place it true with the grid system then left click now i can't pick that up and then if i want it to be pick upable again grab that construction hammer right mouse button boom now get out of here all right well i'm gonna finish setting this up and i will be right back <gasps> wait a second i forgot something at the store a brand new Trusty Dusty Pickaxe. This bad boy will help me dig through this dirt without having to dump it over and over with the, the shovel like we do. This just gets rid of the, the awful stuff. All right, so here is my little starter setup. I've got some pipes ran, dropping water into all of these so I don't have to keep throwing them back in the river there. This was all I could really afford or else it would look nicer. Don't judge me. And then we go back to doing the OG thing of, of 
diggerizing and filling buckets and now we just have more buckets to fill already it looks like we have an uncut shim maybe is that an onyx no ruby okay so good as time as any to uh showcase the gym grinder over here grinding wheel we'll just place it down about anywhere grab your little uncut ruby boom look at that got me a a, a little little baby ruby from gonna make daddy some money all right back to digging bucket no where are you going no <laughs> ah yeah, it was fly home you crazy bucket Well, that was eventful. All right, let's go check out what uh, load number two is going to get us after expanding. Let's see how much money are you going to give us? I forgot my ruby, 358. Let's check. Okay, so this is 358. There are some uncut gems in there. So let's go back and just see how much any bit more processing those uh, gems will get us. Well, it's not much more, but... We're still dealing with the small weight right now. That'll that'll go up the more uh, you expand your operation. Right now, I'm going to take this because I need some cash. I'm broke. And I'm going to stop back by the shop, get a few more things, a couple more pipes to kind of expand that, uh, and maybe start hand sorting. So now here's one thing you can do with the furnace and the crucible. See, I've got these shards and individually they will power your pressure tanks, but they last a whole lot longer if you combine them by putting them in the crucible on the furnace and letting them smelt. Come on now. Liquify, you damn earth dildos. There we go. And here is our first tiny itty bitty little perfectly average you know what perfectly average that is a perfectly average size shard bar and and it's just as good as the big the super large ginormous massive thick old shard bars just as good it's just as good completely average throw that over there in the consider pile actually we're gonna need that little shard bar anyway because it looks like out of all those that i put in there they're already almost gone so guess what you little guy it's your time to shine it cannot be overstated how tedious the early game is on the on hydranir it's it's really it's gonna be a lot of this for a, a little while and uh i don't know maybe you're into that maybe that's your thing maybe you like doing boring shit over and over and over and over as long as you're okay with that i promise it becomes way more fun now let's take a look at this hand sorter and then I'll let you guys go. Just kind of give you a little sneak peek of, of what I'm trying to get at here and uh, what I'm doing in my early game to start setting up to make things a little bit easier and less hair pullingly tedious. So here's, here's how I like to use the hand sorter. First things first, we are going to get our sorting material on the tray up here. We'll pop down a little iron and then we're going to get our pans ready try to get them lined up this can go a little Eesh. that may work all right let's just grab one of these bad boys for catching other stuff right now that should hit 
Let me double check, maybe. Here, let's send something through to check. All right, yeah, give me a boo. Looks like that went in there. Perfect. Okay, that one's got a little little more of a arc on it. Let's uh, scoot that back a little bit. Give it another test. Nothing but Ned. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now I gotta test it again because I'm a stupid baby. One more test. That'll do, pig. One more test to see if everything else is sorting elsewhere. Yes, all right. So now, all we gotta do, grab one of these big old suckers. Oh shit. Perfect. And then we're gonna keep doing that. So far, so good. Get this bad boy. Now we run this one through. And let's replace it. Perfect. Now we got all of our iron in one pan. Now it's time to sort. For the second most prominent resource, we will search for gold. Nailed it. Nailed it. Dunk this sucker. Holy sh... Okay. Boom, boom, bang. And I don't see any reason to have to do that again for anything else because the shard's not going to sell. There's not many uncut gems, so we'll just do that by hand. So that's basically how your hand sorter works. That's how I use it to kind of uh, expedite my little operations here and there in the early game of Hydra Near. And that's it for today. I am Happy Latcha. This is Game Gravy, and you have been watching my Hydra Near series. Uh, so, you know, tune in next time for the continuing saga of this series and uh, leave a like to help get my content out there. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what you saw today. And uh, as always, I suppose uh, this has been Happy Latcha. Thank you and good day.